I'm back in with episode 8. Uh, welcome back everyone. So if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you didn't mind the wait too much. But as I release this, uh, uh, actually, I'll still be here when I release this episode. But because the next ones I'll be on holiday, uh, they're going to be a bit more spaced. So bear with me, but I'd, I'd rather give you constant, consistent content, I suppose, rather than, uh, than more. So yes, welcome back to the next episode. Uh, as we continue on the base, our, our heating loop is just working wonders so we can plant some more uh, more mealwood in there we need to up the priority on those then yeah we need to also get this swept out pretty quickly so this says it's active in two cycles but I do know from past experience with volcanoes when they go active they don't immediately start erupting they usually give you a 12 to 14 cycle uh, idle period where they are active but they're not producing so uh, uh, this two cycles isn't actually a isn't the end of the world timer um, but we probably don't want to hang about too much on that because if it goes off we are gonna have a bad time let's put it that way so let's uh, let's get this sorted start getting stuff swept up all right Mm -hmm. uh, meanwhile, there's a lot of satisfactory chat going on in the, in the chat. It's all right. I'm not complaining. You guys can go. Priority nine on everything. Exactly. I thought I did that. What happened there? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, but yes. Also, good news as well. I have. I now have an updated graphics card. I've. I've purchased a 4080. Um, which I must say is definitely partly or, or wholly in thanks to the support that you guys have given me. I have purchased a 4080 to upgrade from my little 1070 Ti, which then I'm really hoping means I can stream satisfactory for you guys as well. And uh, also it will stop crashing and I can do it in more than minimum graphic settings. Uh, I'm also hoping that it might make a small bump to our only performance, especially in the most duped base. Uh, I, have, I did see an analysis that was on the Reddit that said... Obviously the game is mostly CPU bound, I think everyone knows that, and we have already upgraded the CPU to try and uh, help that. Uh, oh well, not try, it has definitely made a big difference putting the Intel 13th gen in there, it made a big improvement, it made the most tube space playable when it was, not really before. Um, but now, uh, yeah, the, the analysis said that it's mostly CPU, but about 5% of the performance can be attributed to GPU. So, I'm hoping that, plus the fact that obviously because I'm streaming and recording, the GPU does a lot of that work too, so that might be a double benefit for me as a as a streamer and a content creator uh, for the most cheapest run, probably. For, for the rest of the runs, it's really not going to make a difference. Like we we will not have any performance issues, I don't think. But uh, with that many dupes, we do. So we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, the most the most dupes back most dupes record series will be back soon, um, and hopefully better than ever with performance at least. But, I mean, for now, obviously, I'm continuing with the Luxury Base Run because so many of you I think, to be watching it on YouTube and uh, you guys want to see it, then uh, and then I definitely want to make it for you. So, you know, we can uh, we can go back to that at some point. I also get that it's much more approachable to start on Episode 1 or Episode, we are now 8. Uh, if I start making Most Youth Record Run again, we're going to be on Episode 193, I think. And uh, that, that's quite a daunting number, really. Uh, jump in at episode 193 so either you could be like oh I'll just go in then or better strap in for a uh, 200 hours of uh, vod watching you know it's uh, you take either approach uh, and a huge shout out to anyone that has watched all of those vods or streams or most of it and is uh, is a marathon series but if you want to see it you know it's uh, it's all there so there was a bit of a slow start on that one uh, well it was, it was a quick start then it slowed down then I then I started picking up the dupes so it took a while right so we've got one cycle to this goes active. Uh, we, we've got that down there. Okay, we've got this down here, but the uh, hydro sensor is in the way, which is not ideal. Uh, I guess we just have to deconstruct this for a sec. We can just relocate it down here, I think, and get away with that for now. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. If you guys are watching on Twitch, then then I won't ask you to watch the VODs. I mean, if you want to, to re-watch the VODs after having seen it on Twitch, then by all means. Uh, I, I, I won't tell you not to, but if, uh, yeah. 
You don't need to watch me twice, surely that's uh, that sounds sounds like a lot. Razor's always here, and appreciate you, Razor, and uh, all of my my regular viewers and my uh, my long time watchers and uh, subscribers and supporters. You guys uh, really helped uh, help me out and help the channel grow. So we've, uh, what are we going to go for? Uh, we'll go for power. Yeah, I mean the, the the channel growth has been insane. We've been I, I say about a year ago, I was making my one thousand subscriber on YouTube, I think. And then uh, last month I made my 10,000 and now I'm at 11,000 and it just, it keeps going up and up. And if you're watching this on YouTube in the future, I mean, the, the number's probably going to be higher. I hope it's higher, but it, 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 the amount of people, just, it's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, and that's, uh, yeah. I'm sure I can take some credit for that, you know, <laughs> but uh, also it's as, it's as much up to you guys, you know, you, the, the, those numbers there, I mean, they, they are numbers, but also every single one of those numbers is a person, is you, that has clicked on, on the channel and decided to hit subscribe, or like the video, watch the video, you know, uh, it's not lost on me that, that, that you you guys aren't just numbers, you are, you are real people that I appreciate very much for supporting the channel, and uh, yeah, the, the growth has been insane, <laughs> and uh, I can only hope it continues to grow, so uh, yeah, I will... Uh, be eternally grateful for uh, for all of your support in in watching me play games and tell you <laughs> tell you how to play games uh, not badly on the internet, which is great. I mean, you know, um, it's not a bad job, is it? A bit, bit part time, part time for now. Can't complain, right? What's going on with this auto, auto bottling? Uh, oh yes, uh, I, that's a good point. See, Herrera's uh, is keeping me honest, right? Uh, I also probably I've just about have 13, 13 there. What what we should do then? I so said rather than rather than make this a uh, farm area, we'll just stick a uh, stick that on there. We can uh, uh, gas pump. We can just add an, add another. Uh, can we do that? Uh, yeah, we've got, to, we've got to think about the routing carefully because we're going to make sure which bits are gas mask accessible and which ones aren't. We'll have to... We'll have to do that. Uh, everything priority now, and there we go. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting there with this. Uh, yeah. 15 seconds. Let's say 15 seconds. Zero seconds. Uh, yeah, so like I said, so this is now active. This is active, but it's erupting in five cycles. So, uh, yeah, that's not a lot of time, but that's more time than we thought we had. Uh, yeah, good point on the gas mask. So let's uh, extend these. I can't remember if these were meant to accommodate a... something else or not. Uh, and also, this is slightly pushing our spawn to the limit as well. Uh, I I don't understand why no one is fertilizing these. Uh, like, is it because uh, is it because everything's priority nine and then just not doing anything else? Probably. <laughs> Mate, I think this is uh, this is killing the food because they're all so busy uh, doing this. All right, maybe we just take it down a peg for a second. Yeah, exactly, exactly. We, we have enough time. We do actually need them to do it, though. It's <laughs> kind of the thing. Uh, so, yeah, what we can do is build like this, and then if we dig across here, they can uh, they can run across and build all this. And the, the, the main thing, I think, this would be my tip, if you're starting a petroleum boiler, start with the magma, if you're, if you're doing the volcano one, obviously, because the, the volcanoes take a while to actually give you enough magma. So if you're not quick... Uh, ooh. I'm going to take the, co the copper ore because metal ore is super valuable. Uh, we will probably take more dupes. I think we have capacity to take more, so we'll do that. Uh, yeah, start with the, the volcano because magma takes quite a while to get going. So, uh, yeah, now they're on the fertilization, so, so I think it was just a priority issue. Maybe, hmm, do we have a farmer? I don't think we have any farmers. Generally, I don't tend to pick farmers. Uh, that is true as well. We do have to do that. So uh, let's. Uh, this is probably priority nine as well. 
We're also going to need power over here, which is a bit of a pain. I'm not sure. I think this has got enough headroom on for us to steal. But good point there, Vera. Uh, so, yeah, this kind of does need to be priority 9. I don't think there's a way around that. We'll see. Still need to learn all the stuff. Well, I've got you covered with the tutorial by Onibi, so you're you're all good on that. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna use my design or say my design. It, it it to be fair, it is mostly Francis John's design as well. You know, credit where's credit's due. Uh, that design is very much his design that he uh, he popularised and I use. So uh, no plagiarism doesn't exist in Oni. Yeah, it's 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 so worth it. It's so worth it. Uh, right, but yeah, what we're going to need to do is get these guys going round the top with their their masks, and then that's going to allow them to build, come in here and build this, this way. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I've asked them, but everything is top priority, so they're, um, they're doing everything else, because everything's priority nine, so we'll try, try Giving them too much to do. They also need more food. Because they haven't finished doing that yet. <laughs> good, 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 good. Yes. I I think actually the more the more I play and the more I hear from you guys in the community, that one of the biggest problems that I I actually hadn't it, if you asked me before, I wouldn't have even said this was like a big problem, but the the restarting mentality I think is actually more harmful than I'd realised. Uh, it, it really slows down your learning of the game because there's there's so much temptation to, uh, to do that right. Cool. So yeah, so just drop that through. A little bit of oil will sit on there. A little bit of oil will sit on there. And as it drips through, it deletes that there. So this is a vacuum liquid lock now. Here's a vacuum. Which means there'll be no heat transfer. Uh, and yeah, just this is... This is everything's priority in 9 now. So it's just, it's just got to go. <laughs> got a dozen views. You guys have got the um, you got the one take reference as well in there, which is actually something I was really happy with. Uh, it's an idea I came up with because I love having references, and it's something that I had to keep doing. I was always um, taking screenshots of, of tutorials and then saving them. So I was like, why don't I just put the screenshot in the tutorial, and then you can just grab that, and then it's a great reference. So that's the one I'm using, and I'm just like, I can just copy that straight up. Um, uh, okay, I need to make sure these guys don't get stuck in here. Uh, they are indeed going to get stuck. If you finish, if Dog's body finishes that, it will be stuck. Okay. Uh, yeah, sour gas body. Yeah, same, same on that. That is my own design though. Although I kind of mesh two designs together. Uh, I I did try and copy someone's design. You know, it's always a good starting point to start with someone else's design and see how it works. Um, uh, uh, but but it did not. <laughs> it did not work. So. Uh, then I had to mesh two together, and then I added my, some of my own spin on it as well, and did a whole lot of testing to get that to work. So, uh, yeah. But you've also got the reference for that, so you should be able to copy it, you know, one for one, and uh, you'll be fine. Okay. Awesome. Right, we're almost getting there with this. I think I can put oil to this now. I guess I should probably spin that around. Uh, okay, this is going to be water sweep only. That's it. Great. <laughs> Just fan of a goldfish. I take turtle. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, you can if you do that, you end up perfecting the early game, and then you, you you can struggle to keep going. I mean, I definitely did that when I started as well. You know, it's not like it's not the end of the world, but if you really want to progress on through and 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 get better, I think it helps to just keep going. Keep going until the base is, is literally unrecoverable. You get to the point where uh, you're screwed and <laughs> things are not going to get better, then fair enough, you can you can give it up, but... Uh, now you're archering that. Can you build the patrol body with a metal volcano? Um, not really, I don't think it makes enough heat. I, I, the answer might be technically if you were very close on your oil output temperature, but I haven't. I think someone asked me that before, and I ran the numbers. I, I remember running the numbers, and I'm pretty sure the answer was technically you can, but practically you probably can't uh, because the amount of heat generation is is much less. 
Really, you need to find a volcano or a minor volcano. Definitely the uh, better way to go. Or alternatively, I mean, the other thing, you can use an aqua tuna. You can use a thermium aqua tuna. Obviously, that means you need to go get... Um, you need to go get space materials to grab the thermium. Uh, but you can do it without a volcano. So if you don't have a volcano, it's not the end of the world. As long as you grab some thermium. Uh, this is this is really not heating up points. I'm guessing. So the problem is the loop's com it's coming out at 23. But it's going back in at 20. So we are absorbing a lot of cold, I suppose, from particularly from this area, I'm guessing. This is all warmed up nicely. I mean, this is lovely and green now. This whole area is good temperature. Uh, yeah, water loops for the win, guys. If you're cooling or heating, doesn't matter, but they are so powerful. Ugh. Right, there is... There's a lot of sweeping going on. We're almost there. How long have we got? Uh, I might be blind. Where's the next eruption? Next dormancy. Am I being blind here, guys? Where does it say where it's going to go off? This should say, count down to... Huh? Am I going mad? Is it, am, am I going mad? This should say when it's next erupting. Hmm. I, I, okay. I've not seen that before. Weird. It says... Yeet. This is status. Oh, sorry. Okay, good point. I was going blind there. 2.3, 2.3. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Gremlin. Welcome in. Oh yes, it also comes up when I hover over it. Sorry, I am being I am being blind and uh, and stupid there. There you go. That's a good combination. Right, let's uh, <laughs> let's grab the plastic ladder because I thought we wanted that. So there we go. Yes, yeah, so we've got two cycles to get these last little bits out and get this vacuumed. So uh, yeah, we might want to speed up on this <laughs> a lot. It's that time of day. Razor's off. All right, Razor. I will see you when you get back. We should still be on, of course. Of course, of course. Awesome. Yeah, we really need this built. Oh, cool. Right, okay. Got Bracken on there now. That is an option. Our Bluff Briar is also alive, giving us a great haul bonus. Uh, we should check schedules. Yeah, we have too many on the same schedule. So what we're going to have to do is make a new schedule, and we'll offset this by two again. Uh, can say... Yeah, I complained about this last time, but they really need a way to automate this. Uh, and we'll make this plus six, so we know what we're doing. And then we'll just move, we'll move two tubes off there, I think. Yeah. If you're watching the YouTube, well, thank you very much. Yes, and welcome in. Always good to see people live from the YouTube. And now you get to input, you get to be on the YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, you can come see me live on Twitch, and then you you will be a YouTube star as well. You're... Your name will appear in chat on the screen. You can uh, send whatever message you want, as long as it's not rude. I don't mind a little bit. A little bit. Always a bit of a grey area with uh, family friendliness on this channel. But, uh, you know, I try, I try and keep it relatively clean. It's, uh, it is only after all. It doesn't need a lot of swearing in this game, I don't think, you know. Um, uh, right. People are starving again. Again. Uh, yeah, oh, calm it down there, Calavera. Calm it down. You're just, yeah, did you all work in War Cannon? No worries. Oh, thanks for popping in. All right, that is that is extremely family friendly. I mean, that's. <laughs> we'll be right. What is this? Is this pee? People peeing everywhere. What's going on? No surface germs. Hmm. Unless we're are we melting stuff? We're melting polluted. Uh, Ice or something? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I know what's going on. We don't want this in the in the water supply. Okay, come on. Uh, yes, and Sadars here as well. It, it is this is well. It's polluted water. Oh, it's brine. Ah, sorry. This is right. This is the problem. Is I've got flux on as well. Um, if you. You guys uh, that use flux, which is great because it takes all the blue out. So th this looks this looks like polluted water to me. <laughs> Sorry, that's why. If if I get some colorblind mixed up, it's because of that. And also, uh, this to me looks entirely green. 
and say, not because I'm colorblind, I know this bit is green because it's 20 and this bit is blue because it's minus 30, but because of flux, this is all the same color on my screen. So I've got, I've got two options, which is either, um, I either turn flux off and then get blasted by blue light, or I just play on and then get stuff mixed up, which is what I've been doing. Ah, oh, this is killing our mealwood. Uh, where's this brine come from? Here? No? How did we get brine here? Is it, is it polluted? Uh, not polluted. Um, uh, what do you call it? Brine ice? Brine ice, that's what it would be. There we go. Uh, <laughs> the worst chat was, uh, yes. CZ's, uh, CZ sausage. That was a, that was an odd topic of discussion. Uh, do you want more food? Do you want more dupes? Um, construction and, en and engineering. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We'll, we'll take a Ren, even though food's a bit questionable. And next up on the list was Sadat, who is here. So there you are, Sadat. Thank you for, uh, I think you were subscribed, weren't you? Rather than Patreon, you were definitely you were subscribed. Appreciate that. And welcome to the base. Uh, shift diffs. Now you've seen someone play on different temperature colours. Um, yeah, there is a, oh, there's a colour blind mode, isn't there? But I don't want to change it. I don't want to change it. I, I like the default one and I don't want to, I don't want to change it for the viewing experience. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it as it is. It's fine. I, I, I don't need to see the difference at a glance. I'm, I, I can work it out. Don't worry about me. I've got it. Got it in hand. Uh, we will need, we'll need a couple of, um, more masks too, so we can, Pop a pair of those on and then we'll fill up these whenever they get around to it. Okay, this is like top priority now. Oh dear, rising pressure one cycle and there's rather a lot of gas in there. Uh, <laughs> alternate ice, yeah, I think, yeah. Oh, it could be if they carry it from over there, maybe. I'm sure it was brine ice that came from somewhere. Right, we've, we've got to get this built now. Yeah, it's true that you are, you are right, Mekaranga. The, the, at the extremes, the, the the overlay is pretty bad. It actually used to be quite bad at really cold temperatures as well, but they improved it. They made like zero K more white. It used to be it used to all just be blue below about minus fifty, and you really couldn't tell the difference. So now it's a bit better down there, but you're right above above about hundred and twenty, everything gets pretty red. So uh, okay, yeah, we need to get this built now, and we I think we should be in time. I. I don't think this is going to be fully vacuumed by the time we finish, but I think there will be a few little enough gas in here that the, the transfer won't be a problem, basically. So we'll get a little bit of heat transfer to the gas, but there will be so little gas in here that the, the, it won't kill the liquid lock, which is the main thing. We really need to not kill this liquid lock. Okay, here goes the uh, the vacuuming. Do we add another pump here? <laughs> Try and do this a bit quicker might help. Well, it will help. So it's a, let's, uh, let's try that, see if we can, uh, we can speed this up. Uh, yes, Patreon is linked there. Uh, and of course the other benefit of the Patreon and the, the Twitch subs uh, subscriber is voting for the uh, Tutorial Bytes. So, another, another one there. <laughs> yeah. If you've got Prime, appreciate the Prime. You know, if you've got Prime, you, you know, if you guys have Prime, use it on someone. You don't even have to use it on me. If you use it on me, I appreciate it very much. But find a find a worthwhile um, streamer and give them Jeff Bezos's money. You know, that's free money you can be giving them. So I'm sure they appreciate it. And also thank you for the follow, uh, Ferran77. Yes, we'll get two of these going and then that's going to help. I mean, but it's already down to a couple of hundred grams, I think. Uh, there's a couple of kilos here, there, and everywhere. Yeah, so this won't be perfectly efficient because they're putting out different gases, but we'll get this down. We better get this down quickly because we've got about we got about hundred seconds before this goes off. Let's see. Unless they're on <laughs> horizontally. <laughs> so that I gotta be honest with that. That sounds a little bit OCD on that. You're, you're a little perfectionist. It doesn't really matter how you connect them up. So I'm sure you know that. But uh, nothing wrong with that. You do you. You do you. But um, I'm, I'm going to connect up in the way that gets this whole thing vacuumed out ASAP. You know, <laughs> that's, uh, that's my top priority here. So I think the main the main bit is the oxygen, which is sitting down there. Uh, here comes the magma. <laughs> so this this oxygen is going to get very hot. But hopefully, 
Uh, hopefully we don't overheat this. We are overheating this. <laughs> Damn it. There's too much gas in here. Oh dear. Oh, this has turned to petroleum. This could get bad. This could get very bad. Oh, we've lost the liquid lot. Oh dear. Um, uh, oh, uh, hmm. We were too slow. We were too slow. How do we fix this now? Good question. Good question. Yeah, we can't reload. Reload's not gonna not gonna help. Hmm. 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 This is really bad. Maybe reload is the answer, because because. Yeah. If we don't reload this, I don't, I, I'm actually, I don't see a way of saving this. Anyone got any ideas? How do we, because I've, I've lost the liquid lock now. Um, and I can't put another liquid lock back in because it's too hot. And I have no liquid. Mm, okay. Sorry, we're going to reload. This is a rare, this is a rare do-over. I don't usually, yeah, no, I... Yeah, the problem the problem is no liquid is when you open it back up, no liquid is going to stand up to it. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is this uh, uh, is yeah, do that again. I'm going to block it up with tile. I'm going to block it up with tile, and then uh, uh, and then do it like this. So this bit will get too hot. There won't be too much gas in here, and then hopefully we'll be able to evacuate it before we don't. Yes, I know it will, I know, but there won't, I'm hoping there won't, there won't be too much gas in here. Or we could, or we could do some, some, we could let this fill up with magma and then kill the gas at the top. Let's try this. Let's try this. Um, yeah, we may have we may have not done this quickly enough. It's rather frustrating because I've been trying to do that for a while, and they still haven't got it. Hmm. So, so yes, but general advice: don't be like me. Just vacuum this out where in good time before you open it. Uh, yeah, the, the the pumps will just break suspended fate. That's wrong. We'll see. We'll try this. We'll try this. I think this is fine. There's not too much gas in here, so hopefully we can, uh, we can do it. I can also replace these with um, steel pumps, and that will help. We'll replace this with steel. So, so the point of the cold temp shift plate is that it will turn into refined carbon with the heat, and then it will form a solid tile on the key tile, which is this one, and it will just block the volcano. That's the... Does it instantly do it? Okay. Maybe that's that's probably the better solution. I thought there was a bit of time. We'll try it this way. I mean, if, if this doesn't work, we may have to go back to that, uh, Sadat. So, uh, uh, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, where to find the volcano? So, so you need to look for buried geysers, uh, hat store. So if you see the neutronium, the neutronium base, this thing, is always under the geysers. And there's loads of them buried. So, like, there's one here. You can see... And I have an eye for spotting them, because I've done this for so much. There's another one here. I immediately spot them, but if you look around, you should be able to see them on that. There's a lot on this map, but normal maps have them. And you're just looking for that four, the four tiles. Again, there's four tiles there. Uh, four tiles there. Obviously, that one's dug up. So, And if you're struggling to find them, the other way is if you do it on the temperature overlay. I don't think I can see this again because of my flux. But you see here, the neutronium is immeasurable. So they do stand out as a horizontal line on your temperature overlay, so if you want to find them, it's another, another way to it. Uh, yeah. Uh, alright, no worries, Onibi. Thank you for popping in, and hope you have a good one. Yeah, so this should, this should push this up. So what we might be able to do is corner build some of this. So if we break in here from the top, we can build we can build these in and delete a lot of gas, I think. If the if the magma gets up to that level, we can delete all this gas with corner building tricks. So that might be the uh, that might be the plan. 
in the meantime, let's just get this vacuumed first and then, yeah, what we'll do, we'll, we'll try option A without the corner deleting, we'll just open this and see if the gas pumps can move quickly enough to uh, stop the liquid lock going and stop it dying. If it can't, we will reload and uh, go again. Uh, do some experiments there, right. Now this is also, right, these are vacuumed out too, which is great, so our infinite storage is vacuumed, so we can take those off. Okay, we have plastic ladders. We have plastic ladders and a lot of plastics, so uh, where's the... how much plastic is this going to take? Oh, why don't we just chuck plastic ladders on there and get those replaced? That'd be nice. Uh, we can deliver suits, two of these. And we can leave two of these empty, four of these empty. In fact, we can... why don't we just make more, more of these? So I really want to transfer this over to Atmos suits, but we are having a reed fiber issue, for sure. Make some more of those. Uh, yeah, how do you, yeah, so that's, the, so the trick is, trick is, if you go on to your priority overlay on P, if you go on yellow alert, so top priority is zero, drag it over that and hover over the yellow alert, and it'll tell you what it is. Uh, the alternative is you can dig it up. So the key tile on the volcano is this one, or volcano or geyser. If you don't dig this tile, it will not start producing. So that means you can dig the entire thing up except for that, and you can see exactly what it is and it won't make any. Uh, have I done that on this map? Right here. So this is a natural gas geyser. I've left this one tile in and it, it's blocked because of that. So you can also do it that way. If you don't want to use the um, cheat, you can call it a cheat using the uh, priority. That's another way to do it. A bit more legit. Okay. And uh, we've got to get in here as well, I think. Some man, that is it. Sorry, which one are you applying to? Yeah, what? So, so yes, so dark, yeah, one one gas on top of the other, so it wouldn't delete this one. Well, it would only delete one layer. If you have two gases and two layers, it wouldn't work, obviously. So, well, that's why I need the magma to push it up if we want to do corner deletion. But there's a rather a lot of oxygen in here, which makes me think these pumps are just not going to handle it. And they're going to overheat and we'll have a problem. But we'll, we'll try it. We'll try it. Okay. In the meantime, we've got more research. We can also start looking at the space stuff. Hmm. It's true, actually. Yeah, I could try and um, I could try and vent it out the top, for example, and just reduce it. I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah, good point. Good point. I'll do that. Okay, food should now be okay with the amount of stuff we've got. Also do a big sweepy job, right? Some sweepy stuff. Have any food storage? I don't think we're storing any food because we don't really need to. Okay, soggy feet there, great. Okay. Yeah. The water's all good now. And on that, okay, yeah, cool, we got plastic ladders as well, it's going to speed them up and down. Yeah, you did, the insulated tiles will be fine, they'll, they'll be fine. You, you might not have volcanoes, so so the other the other tip for you hats are as well, if you go on the, the star map, assuming you've got a telescope, uh, you click on your planetoid, then in here you've got a list of geysers. It tells you what you got. If you don't have volcanoes in the list, then uh, you you won't find any volcanoes. In which case, if you don't have them, so you can use the aqua tuna, aqua tuna pool. That would be my advice. Okay, so we're almost done on this. We'll, do, we'll let this vacuum, and then um, we'll open up one tile. I think if we've got one tile, and we've got two pumps. We should be able to. Um, we should be able to contain this gas. I think. Fingers crossed. Yeah, I, I, what's, te I, I mentioned this earlier, Caesar, mate. Technically, the igneous rock will melt eventually, but the transfer rate is so low that the practical limit is thousands of cycles. So you can you can replace it with obsidian later on if you want. No, honestly, you're not going to have a problem if you use igneous, and it's cheaper and it's still really good. <laughs> I just have so many geysers. So I have so many geysers because I'm playing Rhyme, and Rhyme always has more geysers, and I also picked Geoactive, so uh, that added even more. This probably has you know, one of the highest number of geysers you can get on a map. Because I picked it that way. 
Because I do love geysers, I will fully admit that uh, geysers are great. I, I always want more geysers. Okay, so yeah, we'll make this out of steel as well, and in that way uh, we've got a better chance of not overheating, for sure. Give us a little bit of headroom. Yeah, I think if we put an airflow tile in here, have both these pumps running in this vacuum, I think they'll be able to contain this gas. So we should be okay. Pretty sure we'll be okay. But what we'll do, before we try it, we'll, we'll put a save and then uh, go from there. And if it, if it doesn't work, we will, yeah, reload and start doing some contracts. Uh, okay, ah, copper ore again. So if there's metal ore, I'm going to take the metal ore because it's, it's hard to get more metal ore. And it's useful in lots of stuff. Have some more food. Let's close the tile with. Yeah, well, yes and no. Do, hmm. It's not going to help. Yeah, poss possibly 10 yards, but the, the thing is, this area is quite cold. I mean, it's still pretty cold. So, yeah, maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe what we should do is just move this further away, it's probably a safer. Yeah, I got one, I got, I got one tile there and one tile there, those two are holding the vacuum liquid, look. Uh, we can, we can deconstruct that. Deconstruct all of this and then we'll, uh, we need to sweep it up as well, this gold will melt. We got 54,000. Yeah. I mean the volcano the volcanoes are great, the metal volcanoes are great. Okay, we're into the milligrams down here. Oh, is it this is going up because they keep coming in here and they keep breathing out in their stupid masks, don't they? Uh Damn it. Building it into the volcano. Uh, yeah, so well, I was talking about that before, I know, Christo Disco. <laughs> um, I was talking about doing corner deletion stuff, yeah. There, there's not too much hydrogen, there's only a couple of kilos of that, there's quite a bit of oxygen. But also what's annoying, I've just realised, is when they're running in here, they're, they're breathing out through their mask because they're not Atmos suits, which is refilling this with carbon dioxide. No. Uh, yeah, we've got to get all this sweat. So there's quite a lot of oxygen, but I say with these two, right next to the... We put the hole up here. I think it'll be enough to catch it. So Dart is, is, is on the uh, definitely corner build train, okay. Well, we'll see. The uh, the proof will be in the very hot pudding. So, that's, uh, we'll, we'll find out together. We, we won't have to theory craft very shortly. Uh, okay, right, what else are we meant to be doing in the meantime? We'll see if we focus on this. Thank you very much for the follow, Dark Major 20. Uh, let's do a little bit of space stuff. So we can put that on and uh, some of that. We'll put a ladder up here. Uh, this will need oxygen. Uh, can we... Does the, does the suit exploit work with carbon dioxide? That's a good question, I don't know. I actually know the answer to that. Uh, right, we also need carbon dioxide. There's not a lot down there, but there's quite a bit in here. Let's uh, whiz some carbon dioxide out for, uh, for that. What is this? Is this carbon? What is this for? Natural gas. Ah. So currently I'm venting the carbon dioxide here. What I could do is prioritise it to go up. Uh, no, the suit export exploit with oxygen. Where when they, if they've got a suit on it, it runs out of oxygen. Then when they breathe in oxygen from the surroundings, they don't use any of that oxygen. Uh, so it's a, it's a way to get free oxygen. Effectively, you never run out. I don't know if that works with, um, with masks. I assume so, but uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> We will try. There will, there will be experiments. Uh, running out of power? Is that because I think this line is overloading because it's doing too much stuff? It's probably not helping us. 
yeah, pretty sure the tubes are breathing out and that's going up rather than down, but should finish that now. Yeah, so we'll get on with a bit of space stuff. Uh, finishing some more research. Water's okay, that'll sort the food. Um, I mean, I suppose the other thing we can do now is actually come in here and build the boiler itself. You know, that would, that would not be a bad idea, I don't think. What we'll do is we'll just ladder all this, igneous rock. So, in terms of the actual, like, shape of the boiler then, um, we also need to mop this and sweep this, because this is going to take magma in the end. Um, so you've got a bit of a block there, and then... Okay, so I'm following my own reference diagram here, so if it's wrong I've got myself to blame. Uh, but you guys can blame me if it's wrong. Then... Uh, Okay, then the entrance to, is that two? Yeah, one, two. I'm trying to count this out, uh, them... ah, we don't even need metal tiles in here anymore because we can just use, we can use a conduction panel, use a conduction panel, that's definitely an improvement uh, that I did not have access to at the time. I think this is right. This looks really big. One, two, three, four. No, I think that's right. Let's see, and then this comes down. This is the main dropping thing. This comes down to there, and then you know, I like to use the diamond window tiles. And a lot of people ask me, I don't have the diamond window tiles, so that'd be something to unlock. If we don't research. A lot of people ask me, can you use metal tiles rather than the diamond window tiles? And the answer to that is definitely yes. Um, I definitely use diamond window tiles out of habit, because uh, they used to be the standard. Uh, yeah, we'll see Sadat. I mean, ultimately there's going to be, there will be a little bit of calm dioxide in here, but it, you know, if there's a couple of milligrams, that's not going to do heat transfer, so I'm not too worried. Uh, this is spaced out on a, on a classic sized map. Uh, yeah. Okay, so, yes, yeah, so we'll put the window tiles, we'll go there and there, and then I think this is the right shape, which is looking good. And then we have one, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay, and then the... that's window, that's door, that's window. That comes across there, that goes up here. We start doing runs this way, and runs... This way, lovely, right, okay. That's looking about right, which is good. I mean, we'll need we'll need some obsidian ladders in here. Uh, can that go there or not? No. And the door goes. Okay, yep. Yeah. It's only about right, so the key thing is to build the structure. Then we can uh, worry about the rest. And also, tip with this one: if you if you leave alternating holes in this, a bit of Swiss cheese job, you can uh, you can get in and build this much easier. Um, but we'll probably have to come at this from the other side, I think. Uh, sorry, I'm missing chat because I'm looking at my reference. Aluminium tiles and thermium doors. Yeah, thermium doors for the tr the heat transfer is definitely good. Uh, the the better the heat transfer, the uh, the definitely strongly designed. Uh, right, so this needs to be 16 tiles to there. 16, so it's four. So this is 14 tiles to there. Lovely. So that needs to come to there. Then it dips down and the pump goes in here. And then, say, this comes on like this. Again, we'll make it holy for now. Uh, and then. That allows them to climb wherever they want. And... Ooh, not in there, that's like... Just make the... Uh, petroleum liquid lock in there, and then we'll need to... Come get access on this side. That should all be reachable. There we go. That's the plan. That is a plan for a petroleum boiler. It's the start of one. We'll dig the rough shape out. Hopefully no one gets stuck. We'll find out. 
Okay, right, so we've got a vacuum. So here we go. So here's the trial. Let's, uh, if we make this steel, so it doesn't melt. I'll whack that to there. The crude oil is petroleum boiler. What is the number of radiant pipes? Will I transfer enough without boiling a petroleum cell? Yes. Uh, yes, there is. Um, so that, it depends on the material you use and then the length you need. Um, I covered that in a tutorial bite, mate. The, um, I, I did some testing and I gave you exact numbers, exact shapes for the different metals. So I'm going to refer you to that. I uh, definitely don't know them off the top of my head. Uh, but they do, di they do differ. Generally, I think this design is quite adjustable. Uh, yeah, that's true. They won't excel without the mask. We'll, um, we could uh, we could ask the dupe to drop their mask before before they get in there. And right, it's Andy. It's Andy. So if we if we asked Andy to drop his mask, then th th this is this is a good idea. I like this. And then uh, get him to put it back on. Okay, so yeah, we flooded it with hydrogen, which is fine, because then the hydrogen is not that hot. Except now the gas pumps have stopped. Uh, okay, these are going to be instant repair. So yeah, the, my, my concern here is when the, the oxygen gets out and we have a very bad time. This stuff is, is going to keep uh, getting damaged, but... Oh, I forgot to uh, save this. Oh, well, we'll have to go back to the cycle. Whoops. Okay, come on. Keep repairing. It's pumping very little hydrogen. Uh, come on, hydrogen. It's really, really not flowing. Yeah, there is. It's just igneous rock. Igneous rock will melt into magma, so <laughs> that's not a problem. I did notice that. I don't, I don't, there's not enough power on this line for that. Uh, more research. We don't have to reload, that'll be fine. Okay, yeah, so the real test of this is when the oxygen goes. And how much of a mess this is going to make. Yeah. Two kilos. Okay, there's not too much down here. There's not too much down here. Yeah, I think we got away with that. Uh, we have... I forgot to deconstruct this one. <laughs> we've got to take this one off and do that one. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, this is this is not not the best execution of this idea, but I think it worked. I think this worked. Because the thing is, one, once the... Once this gets down low enough in terms of mass, there'll be very little heat transfer. And our liquid lock has now turned to petroleum, but it is not sour gas, so that is the main thing. Uh, yeah, and this is introducing a bit of uh, carbon dioxide, but... See, it's fine. Sadat doubted us, but we have, we have definitely got away with that one. All completely under control. I don't know what you guys are on about. No chaos here. Yeah, so this has overheated, but there's, there's very little... Um, there's very little in here now, which is good. I say once the once the mass gets down, the heat transfer basically stops because there's not enough. Exactly, enjoy enjoy your popcorn, and I am, I am I'm happy with how this has gone. We can even once this gets low enough to deconstruct these, stop them, stop because we are currently repairing them with loads of steel, which is a, a waste of steel. Uh, so we're into the we're into the micrograms. So yeah, so we'll just, I think we'll just do that. Let's deconstruct these at this point. And then we'll replace them. Uh, so we just rebuild them, basically. And then they'll stop overheating. We should be fine. Still a bit toasty. Oh, there's four. Was there so much polluted oxygen? What the hell? I know they're breathing out carbon dioxide, but that's not an issue. Uh, we may have made a mistake. I didn't. I don't know where this polluted oxygen's come from. I thought we were fine. We may not be fine. Bit of scolding going on. Uh, okay, right. More dupes. More dupes. More food. More food. There's food. I'm going to take the food.
no matter how cute it is. Yeah, okay, this, this polluted oxygen almost unraveled us, but I think we're okay, we're okay. Yeah, yeah, it was stuck in a little corner, wasn't it? I missed it. But it's fine. This is all fine. Uh, see, these won't even overheat, I don't think. This one, definitely not. This one, maybe. Come on, why are numbers going down? See? Situation saved. I'm starving. No need, no need for that. No need for that. Yeah, so we're going to have to deal with this mess down here. Uh, got a load of water. Mm -hmm. Mischief managed. Exactly. Uh, there were no, no doubts this would work at any point. I need to shut my window. I don't know what's going on out there. Sounds like someone's flying a helicopter about. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. I think I do have a noise filter on this, so it should be alright, but it's droning. <laughs> hey, hey, they're very shaming me now. Guys, he's shaming me. He's being mean. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little restart, yeah. But we, um, we learned a lesson there. I mean, definitely, uh, definitely get the volcanoes vacuumed first and then open them up. That's the right way to do it. Otherwise, you end up doing uh, fun stuff like this. Mm. You know, I'm here for the fun, but you guys might want a smoother ride. It might be your playstyle to uh, not to have crazy, stupid stuff happening all the time. <laughs> okay, yeah. So we're down into the micrograms, and then uh, then we need to go get this deal out. We can, we can grab this stuff all out. We should probably do that sooner rather than later. Because the gas mask is going to cause a pain. Also, another tip. Do this with Atmos suits, if you can. <laughs> uh, make it... Uh, make it better. Atmos suits for the win. That is uh, definitely the case. We have some thimble reeds growing over here. I wonder if... Uh, this is too cold, but these are, these are good. Who's scolding? Friendly. Oh. Uh, now I've done it. I've just walked through the liquid lock with with that, and it's broken. Oof. Uh. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of broken. Okay, but it's still, it's still actually intact because there is a tile of there's a tile of oil here, which is holding everything together. Um. Okay. We'll pour, we'll pour a bit more oil on this. Uh, okay, and also, this is not deleting this tile. So, um, as a tip, if you just need to do that, build something in here and then deconstruct it. And it'll delete this tile. Let me come in here, grab... No, 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 and, and, and another tip, don't do that from the inside. Although, to be fair, we could deconstruct. See, now we have a vacuum, lovely. We can come in and grab this stuff out. How hot is the sour gas? Uh, not that hot. 25 degrees. Actually, there's so little of it, that's the thing. It's, uh, it's so small. Why are you idling? You've not got enough stuff to do. We have dupes, we have bored dupes. That's not good. Right, we better get, a, get on with stuff, haven't we? I usually have the opposite problem. I don't know what's going on. Um, okay. Let's come up here, uh, put some stuff on there. Why don't we... We could put a bed up here, I suppose. So what we need, what we actually need is a telescope and a, a orbital data collection lab. So we'll do that. Uh, where is the telescope? It's in rocketry. So we'll grab that too. We, I suppose we should make a toilet. All right, go on then. That would be a good idea. Uh, we'll pop... The hand sanitizer? Do we have? Oh, do we even have the hand sanitizer? Okay, we'll grab the hand sanitizer. Can we make this a bathroom or not? Does it need to be? Is it eight or ten or twelve? Sorry, eight or twelve. It's twelve, isn't it? Latrine twelve, barracks twelve. I think really we need to move this one over. We'll just uh, we'll move that over, and we can make these twelve. And 
Nice and easy. Except that was nine. So that's uh, that's not right. Uh, I suppose what we can we can do is put a door in there. Uh, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. We can put two doors. There we go. We've got volcano problems that we sorted here. That's it. We're all good. We're all good. <laughs> I'm getting, getting flamed in the chat now. Look, the, the, the mishaps are intentional, uh, Entertainment purposes, definitely, definitely that. Uh, and nothing else. Okay, so can we make this into a into a great hall, or is that not going to fly? Uh, de definitely intentional. If anyone asks, that's what we're going with. Okay, so we'll do a power outlet fitting. Let's say this run, you know, this run is not mostly about rocketry like the other one was, like the. Um, skewed cosmic archaeologist run so I'm not going to go too heavy on the rocketry in terms of the stuff we need to do and in terms of explaining it I mean okay yeah, we kind of covered that last time so if you want to see more check that out but uh, could do a little statuey thingy couldn't we or a plant pot or something we've got a hanger hanging plant pot there you go that'll do Cool. Well, we need to grab the hand sanitizer, which is in the medicine one, which is why I don't have it, I think. Do I have it? Oh no, I do have it. It's there. Okay, sorry, I'm going mad. Uh, okay, research random stuff, because we have nothing better to do. Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, if, yeah, if you have to sacrifice rooms, always try and keep the Great Hall. That's the uh, key thing. We'll, we'll try build this. I'm not entirely sure that's the best design. Also, I have no food area. Uh, also, I need some oxygen in here. Again, I'm hoping the suit trick works. Uh, so, well, the... Yeah. And we're also going to need to run some water from here to here. Uh, we've done power. That's all right. Yeah, so it should be in here. Okay, just missed the hand sanitizer. Lovely, we'll let him build that. <sighs> Dupes of... Oh. Unreachable food. What? I see, we've had a bit of a collapse there now that everyone's stuck. Yeah, so we're down to micrograms of carbon dioxide now, so... This is... Uh, this is it. Just grab this. Let's not even grab that igneous rock. Why? Why bother with that? Let's close this thing in. I'm just thinking though. Hold on. Before we do that, this the magma level can get up to here. And and, and also before we close this in, we really need to open it up. So let's. Uh, I think we're in a position to open this up now. I mean, in here, we're going to be on zero, so that's great. Mm -hmm. If they don't keep breathing out in here. Yes, there was a breath. There goes the magma. Okay, perfect. But yeah, so, so, say, the magma level can still rise up to here, I think. So that will hit the liquid lock. So I think we need to close it like this. I think that is the safe way, if way to close it. Let's see, we've lost, left some steel in there. If I grab that steel, I think it's going to kill the liquid lock. So we will have to sacrifice that steel to the uh, to the volcano. But it won't melt, so it will just sit there forever. Yeah, we'll close it up like this. This will finish the vacuuming. All will be good. Job done. I think that's the uh, that's the key there. Uh, In the meantime, they need to get on and keep building this. Both sides. Right, everything looks a bit more stable now. Uh, we can, we're filling with carbon dioxide? Yeah. We, so we're filling with that carbon dioxide, but it's not very much carbon dioxide. We want to uh, 
Nope, that one in. Steel, yeah, I mean, more annoyingly, I did leave some uh, some lead in magma. Right, but I've just realised the time. I'm really going to keep track on the time here because it's the end of the episode on YouTube again. Uh, so, yes, thank you. <laughs> there are Vera's on it as well. Uh, appreciate you guys very much for watching this one. Hopefully enjoying the shenanigans uh, at my expense of the, the boiler. Uh, next time, we're definitely going to keep going with this, obviously. Uh, I don't think we can get it turned on in the next episode, for sure. It's going to take a while. But we'll get way more of it done. So appreciate you guys joining me on this one. And hopefully I'll see you very soon in the next one.